What is up, guys? This is Untapped Potential here. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, guys, I'm setting up for the very first video ever. Honestly, not quite sure what I want to do with it. But you know what? We're just going to get right into it. So the very first video, and I wasn't planning on doing this as my first video, but this is what I'm going to do. For my first video, I'm going to tell you guys a story about this binder. So a few weeks ago, my grandfather told me about a thrift shop that he was going to. And he'd go there probably every couple days, maybe like at least once a week or so. Well, he told me... That he went in there the very last time and he was seeing decks and decks of Pokemon cards. And they were selling them and he didn't know, you know, what they were worth or anything like that. So he mentioned it to me. And I was like, hey, I'll definitely check it out, see what's going on with it. So I'm going through and this place that I went into, it's a lot bigger than I expected. So I pull in and I immediately am looking and it's just like a very small, like, look like a one bedroom, like, building. So I walk in, and to my surprise, it was a pretty big building. I'm talking probably at least four or five rooms. Um, each of those rooms were relatively big, and it just like, never ended. It just kept going. Well, anyway, so I'm walking through, and I'm checking things out. Well, I finally stumble upon those cards that he was talking about. I'm looking through them, and they're like prepackaged ones that someone went through and got. Um, and then was just trying to do like a resale with them. So I was looking at that, and I was like, okay, that's cool. Like I'll come back to that. Well, I was walking through just checking to see if there was anything else that might have, you know, might catch my eye. Um, and at one point I go into this one room and in this one room, it's just a bunch of uh, clothing and just random, random things that I just didn't think that I personally would be interested in. So I left it go for a little bit. And then as I was getting ready to walk away, I was like, you know, I should probably check that out. Just in the very rare case that there is something in there that I uh, might be interested in. So I continued on and I started looking through and I was just wa walking along the wall, kind of looking at some of the clothes, just, you know, just doing like a brief one take. But then all of a sudden I see this binder and it's kind of like tucked in on this bookshelf, just kind of smack dab in the corner. So I walk up towards it and I don't even get that close, but I notice you got Dragon Ball Z going down the side of it here. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. But I was like, it's just an empty binder and I'm not, you know, I'm not really too interested so I get ready to walk away, but then for some reason, something told me, hey, go back and like look at that binder. So I pick the binder up, and I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at the front of it, got Goku there, um, and then I'm looking at the side of it, and right in this section, right here where Goku's head is, there was a small sign, probably only about as big as this letter Z that you see here, uh, only about that big, but there was a sign that said, old school Pokemon cards. And I was immediately like, what? No way. So I picked this binder up and I start opening it up and I um, start immediately seeing some pretty worthwhile cards. And we're going to get into it. I'm going to show you guys pretty much what I stumbled upon and kind of give you the whole thought process as I was going through it. We're going to go through, check some stuff out. Let me know, guys, if there is something that I did miss in this um, binder as we're kind of going through it, checking it all out. Now... If you guys like the video, consider subscribing to the channel, um, but definitely if you enjoy the video, slap a like on this video just because it does help support the video, help support the channel, and it kind of lets me know if you guys are interested in more material like this. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know your comments on it so we can kind of keep going with it if it's something that you guys are interested in. Um, and yeah, at the end of this, let me know in the comments what your favorite card was. Um, and we'll go from there. Not sure if I mentioned it yet, but we got our Pikachu Zelda shirt on today. But let's dive on in. All right, guys. So I don't have an overhead camera. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to unzip this bad boy. We're going to get it ready to go. And I'm just going to pull out, pull out the uh, pages and we'll kind of go from there. All right. Easy, easy, easy. Don't be all falling out on me. Oh my goodness. Slipping and sliding, slipping and sliding. Okay. Flip that, get that out of our way. All right, here we go. So the very first page, probably the best page possible. We got an empty page. Now when I first opened up this binder, the very first thing that I did see through that empty page was a Dark Dawn fan. Dark Dawn fan, you guys can see there. Dark Dawn fan. Now with this Dark Dawn fan, I was real excited about this. Let's check him out for a moment here. 
Got a little bit of a line going on the left side though. It honestly seems to be in pretty good shape. Uh, give me a second here. Mm -hmm. Anyways, get this guy. Get this guy in a sleeve here. Just leaving him up, he's looking pretty good. Anyways, so I'm looking through these, and we also got this arcade game. Arcade game here. Nothing too crazy about him, but he has a star card. He's got a little bit of, a little bit of stuff on him there, and got some whitening going around the sides here. But he's still pretty all right. We'll put him off to the side. But anyhow, so as I'm coming through here and I'm looking and I'm just seeing energy cards after energy cards and I'm thinking to myself, there is no reason that there should be all these energy cards in this. This guy that was planning on selling this binder, was he planning on just throwing one worthwhile card in and then just trying to sell a bunch of energy cards? Because that's pretty much the mentality that I was getting. And I was like, oh man, this, this bites, like this is not what I was looking for. I got some more energy cards we got the team rockets evil deeds that's a card you don't see all the time at least but again more energy cards and i'm like dang this is like just gonna be a binder full of energy cards this is gonna be rough stuff right here and this guy i guess just needed to make sure he had all the energy cards for whenever he did have to battle with that single dawn fan that he has and then we're looking and we're seeing bunch of energy cards again and I'm like oh my god I'm getting sick of it but then I spotted this I was like oh my god Gengar let's pull this bad boy out check him out yeah, he's a pretty good pretty good shape card he's actually in pretty pretty good condition there we'll slap him into his sleeve since he's doing so well Got a rainbow energy, so that's a little bit of a little bit of a change of pace there. And I got some more. Poison energy is sweet. Alright, so at this point, like I said guys, I was like kinda getting a little bit more excited seeing that Gengar within this page started to help kind of change it for me. So starting off, we got the Tauros, Golem, Lickitung, got ourselves another water energy, a bee drill, dugong. But then down here we got a Kangaskhan. If I can slowly, carefully pull him out. The Kangaskhan here. This Kangaskhan, he's in pretty good shape too. A couple creases actually. He's, he's actually in pretty rough shape, not gonna lie. Looks like he got into a fight. Then we got the legendary Machamp, first edition. Very rare. Just kidding, guys. The champs are, especially the first edition ones, practically almost all of them. But yeah. And he's got a little bit of blemishing going on towards the corners here. On the back side, he's. Oh, yeah, he's definitely been in a couple fights. He definitely, uh, definitely makes sense of why he's got the. Uh, can't even see it, but he's got the belt. He's hiding the belt. Championship belt there. But, holographic Machamp. And first edition, which is almost all of them. Gotta slap that in a sleeve. Keep it safe. Blaine's Magmar. Blaine's Magmar right there. Then we jump down here. We got ourselves a Raichu. Surge's Voltorb. A Light Venomoth. Not sure if you guys have ever seen a Light Venomoth before, but that's pretty much what they look like. Uh, not too much different than a regular Venomoth, but, you know, a little different. Get ourselves a Pillow Swan, Brock's Vulpix, Dark Machoke. Now he looks like he's about ready to spirit bomb somebody. I don't know if anyone else has ever come across this card and thought the same thing, but that's exactly what I think every time I see it. Dawnfin and Clefairy. Here we go. We got ourselves a Snorlax. Let's take a look at this guy here. Snorlax. Again, in pretty, pretty decent shape, in the front at least. And all in all, he's not terrible. A couple blemishes here towards the side going down. Honestly, not terrible. Not terrible at all. We'll put him off to the side. Got ourselves a Golem. 
This golem always looked like he was like coming out of a volcano. The way it's just rolling down the hill, and I think that's what they were going for with that. Here's a light bullduck. My boy Flaffy hanging out right there, trying to get a close up with the selfie. We got ourselves a jump bluff. Let's take a look at this guy. Ever so slightly. But yeah, jump bluff. Getting a couple little nicks on the side, but hey. Honestly, not in terrible shape considering this probably did come from a child at some point. Someone, some 10 year old was rocking these Pokemon cards back in the day. We got Surge's Electrode, Magmar, Misty's Poliwhirl. But I, like I said, I was kind of looking through these cards and I started getting excited. And what I really got excited about, we got ourselves a first edition Area Dose, which we can take a look at that guy here. Give me a second. Pull him out. Got ourselves a first edition Area Dose, and he seems to be in pretty, pretty good shape. Pretty good shape, huh? A couple nicks. I feel like you can't can't get away with having a card with a couple nicks, especially out of this binder. Now guys, this next card coming up. Dark Slowbro. Real excited about this card. There's actually a card that I've been um, looking, hunting down, trying to get one. Um, but I finally did stumble upon one, and luckily enough, it was in this deck. But you can see he was definitely in a fight. Team Rocket was working him. But yeah, so he's a little nicked up in the side, got those blemishes there, flipping him around, got the same kind of blemishes going through. Honestly though, still pretty happy to have uh, found this card. This is definitely one that I've been looking for to help complete some sets, or help fill sets at least. Don't think it's going to complete it, but it'll definitely fill it. Then we got this guy here, Dark Alakazam. That's another pretty decent card. Now he's a non-holographic one. Pretty sweet though. I mean, that's another good card to, good card one you don't really see all that often. But you gotta go back to this uh, slow bro. Forgot to put my boy, my my boy into a sleeve. Keep him protected. All right, on to the next page. We're getting real excited here. We got ourselves a holographic scyther. I actually have a holographic scyther in my collection, but it's a misprint one. He's actually missing the uh, little uh, jungle emblem down on the side, so it's kind of nice just to have another one that's actually without a misprint, but this guy got some surface damage you can see towards the top side here, a little bit of markings down along the sides. And overall, a little bit more blemishing going down around the corners here, but honestly, still pretty decent. Still pretty decent considering, like I said, it's honestly really surprising to see that any of these, a lot of these cards even survive after having a bunch of kids, you know, hanging out, using them, battling, all that fun jazz, taking them to school, trying to trade them to the school kids. We've got Dark Pupitar, Furret, Krabby, we've got Dark Weezing here, let's take a look at Dark Weezing. So Dark Weezing's hanging out here. Big bad wheezing. He's got the mass explosion. I don't know about you guys, but mass explosion does 20 damage times the total number of coughings and wheezings, dark wheezings to, in play. Who is running around with a bunch of coughings and wheezings in their deck just so they can pull this card and turn around and try to clean house? I don't know, but that is a strategic strategy if you're trying to battle, I guess. Flipping it right around. They got a pretty cool, pretty cool Hitmon Lee hanging out up there. Hair across here. The cadaver that always looks like he's flipping you off, but don't think that was the intention. Some Kingdras, some Jigglypuffs. But yeah, nothing. Coming through, we got Misty Seal. We got Misty Seal there, Nidoran. Quilava. Quillfish, my boy Quillfish hanging out there in the water. Seedra, Snubble, Skiploom. So far no first editions with that, let's flip this bad boy over. We got the Notorious Pikachu card. I feel like everyone back in the day had this Pikachu card. If you didn't have it, you, you just weren't collecting them. You were doing your best to get rid of them. We got Weezings, double Weezings. Not sure why he had to show off both Weezings, but he's got them. Maybe it's because he was actually setting up for that uh, Weezing and Coughing deck. He just had them all ready to go. We got Blaine's Ponita, Brock's Geodude, Brock's Sandshrew. 
And then we got ourselves a Dark Blastoise. Look at that guy right there, Dark Blastoise. Now there's a non-hollow here, but let me pull him out. Got ourselves the non-hollow Blastoise. And this guy actually looks like he may, may just be in pretty good shape compared to all the other cards. I mean, slight nick up there, but honestly, relatively good considering. Put him off to the side here. We even got a Dark Amistar. Let's check this guy out. Dark Amistar here. Slowly but surely get him out. Alright, we got Dark Amistar. Got another star card right there. Um, I don't remember if I ever got this card. This is the one card that I knew that I actually needed at one point. Not quite sure if I ever finished and got this card or not. We're getting right into it. We got ourselves a first edition, first edition Cloyster. My boy Cloyster right here. He is first edition. Rocking out right there. Got that stamp. Um, but yeah, I mean this guy, he seems to be in pretty good shape. A little bit of a little bit going on there, but nothing too crazy. Put him off to the side. We got Dark Cadavers. He was showing off again his duplicates. Got our dark drowsy, or yeah, dark drowsy, just our regular drowsy. He looks like he could be a dark type though. He is part of the rocket set, so I guess I wasn't too far off. And we got the Eevee, the Ekans, the Squirtle. Nothing too crazy going on with that one there. We got ourselves far fetched, far fetched, ghastly, ghastly, geodudes, or hound hour. See what we got going on, on the other side here. Flipping around, we got ourselves the Grimer. Um, Growliths. Again, three of those hanging out. Jigglypuff. Another coffin hanging out down below. Again, he must be must be stacking up for that deck. And then we got ourselves Centret Machop, Magikarp, my boy Bill. He's getting ready to battle somebody. Not sure who he's battling, but he's smoking in the boys' room, hanging outside, being a bad guy. There we go. First edition, first edition, Misty's Poliwag. Let's take a gander at him. Take a gander right there. Yeah, take a look. It's pretty good. Pretty good. He's doing a cartwheel. That must be what Misty uh, specializes in, making her, making her Pokemon do uh, circus tricks. All right, let's see what else we got here. Dark War Turtle, the baby version of our Dark Blast toys. We got an Elekid. Now back in the day, I used to have an Elekid. Same exact card, it was actually first edition. Um, I remember rocking that for a long time, but I don't know if I, can't remember if I still have that uh, card, but there you go. And he seems to be in relatively good shape, considering, um, again, a couple little things, but nothing too crazy with this guy. But yeah, what else we got going on here? Got ourselves the double get the, the double gust actually the double gust Ponitas, Puchiyama. Getting into a newer card there, Psyduck. These are all our Wizard of the Coast, and then we're starting to get some uh, some of the newer stuff in here. Checked out those guys. We're on to the next thing here. Got ourselves a Slowpoke, and then a really dazed and confused Slowpoke. He's going through a comatose from eating too much. Got ourselves a Slugmas. The Smoochums. The Sparrow. And then we got right here, we got ourselves a first edition Squirtle. You can check him out. And again, got a little bit going on there. We'll put him off to the side. So yeah, just trying to skip through some of these guys. I know that some of these are kind of getting old, kind of seeing a lot of the commons and uncommons. We're looking for all the excitement, all the uh, star cards here. But I will tell you, by the time I started seeing about the second or third star card, right around the time that I started seeing Machamp and started seeing, um, like I said, the Scyther and stuff, I immediately was like, okay, I gotta look at this binder. I gotta look at the price tag on this again because I feel like I feel like I must have misread this. Originally, whenever I looked at it, it was um, 
it was ten dollars for the binder and I was like nah that can't be right like there's no way that I read that right but then I went and flipped it back over before I even finished looking through the book and it still said ten dollars and I was like oh thank god I thought for sure I misread this and I'm getting my hopes up I'm getting all excited for nothing but yeah I mean Definitely helped find some cards that I needed, and it was definitely worth definitely worth ten dollars. Definitely worth the stop going up. I ended up. Um, what was really funny was I ended up not even picking up those cards that I was originally looking at when I was first going through, um, and that was the whole reason I was even going originally. Got a Sabrina's Abra right here, first edition, level twelve. If you didn't notice, enhance. There we go, level twelve, number sixty-three. He's in he's in pretty good shape again too. Then we're going through, we got ourselves another Pikachu. We got a Victory Bell here. Checking out the Victory Bell. Non-holographic once again here, but yeah, again, that one's not in bad shape either. Flipping her over. Got ourselves the Staryu, the Squirtle, the Swinubs, the Togepies, the uh, Unknowns, PNT. But don't forget about your boy. Don't forget about your boy, Unknown Y. He's hanging out up there, kind of looking at you like, what's going on? We got ourselves the Voltorb Collection. The Weedle. The Wing Ball. There we go. Again, a couple of those E cards just randomly getting thrown in there. Put that back over. We got our Abras. We got our Diglets. We got Giovanni's, Giovanni's Magikarp. You never see Giovanni rolling around with a magic arp. That's uh just too he's just uh too high standard for that kind of stuff. Then we got ourselves a Kabuto, a Magby. My boy Magby here, he's a star card. I actually forgot about him being a star card. Let's take a look at him. So for some reason Elekid and Magby end up becoming star cards, but Smoochums where they kick it to the curb and they're like, no, there's no way we're making that one a star card. We got ourselves a first edition bay leaf. Pull him out, see what he's up to. Let's see, let's see. Up to, up to. Ch -ch 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 -ch. About 311. 311 there, first edition. And a couple little, couple little blemishes here, but nothing crazy. I mean, these cards seem to all be in relatively good shape. Got ourselves a couple Japanese cards there. Got ourselves a Spinark. We got ourselves a Shuckle, my boy Shuckle hanging out there, the uh, tank Pokemon. Then we got ourselves a Blaine's Dodorio, Seeking. Oh, let me flip that over. Seeking. That's a French Seeking. We got ourselves a Dark Charmeleon, Enhanced. There we go, Dark Charmeleon there. I always thought that, honestly, I always thought that the Dark Charmeleon was like one of the coolest. Uh, cards they ever made, dark wise. Definitely a really cool card. Jigglypuff, another French card. Marowak. Nidoram. Got ourselves a French Eevee. French Pikachu and French Bell uh, Bellsprout. Must have went to France to get all these cards. Let's see what else we got here. We got ourselves a Venonat. We got ourselves a Mankey. And we got ourselves a Krabby. Not even not even a part of any of these sets, but just throw that in there as a wild card. Giovanni's Machop, Misty Starmie, some more Bill cards. Got a Pharaoh. We got Blaine. Here's another card I was pretty excited about. I think there's another one that I need to help fill some of the sets that I have. But yeah, let's take a pretty good look at him. Enhance, there we go, Blaine. Number 17 at a 132. He's actually in pretty good shape. I mean, got a little bit of a uh, little bit of a bending, a little bit of a bend just from being in the binder. But honestly, really good shape for that guy. Um, let's look through these. I mean, most of these at this point, some trainer cards, nothing too too crazy. Put that bad boy over. We did that one. Oh my god, the energy search. This is like the claw from the claw machine, but he was like always trying to steal up all these energies. I remember I would see these cards religiously going through looking at cards, and look at that. He has more of them. Got ourselves the energy switch. 
Erica's maid. Dude, I would love to have known Erica's maids. What were they doing while she was doing the gym leading stuff? Were they watering the plants? The gambler. And we got ourselves Imposter's Oak Revenge. Look at that swirl. You know that he's evil. He's got that swirl going on there. Alright, what do we got in this stack here? We got ourselves another star card right here. Imposter Professor Oak's Invention. So we went a step above. He made the invention. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. What do we got here? We got Mary. Let me tell you about Mary. Now, she is a star card now. She is a uh, very, very lovely lady. She um, causes you to draw two cards and shuffle two cards from your hand into your deck. So she's all about giving you two, but then making you take two. Like, give a penny, leave a penny. She's all about that. And we got Misty. We got two Misties side by side. The real thing is, we can pop these out. Two Misties here. They're going head to head. Head to head for me. What are we looking at here? This Misty's got a little bit of a bent up there. A little bit of a bend, a little bit of a... Actually, she's got a couple bends. I don't know if you're able to see that. She's got a couple bends. Someone was like doing some origami with this one. But yeah, a couple little, a couple little blemishes and bends with that. So Misty, you got beat up. Got the Moo Moo Milk. Mr. Fuji. See what we got on the next side here. Bunch of Pokeballs. Dun dun dun, Pokeballs. Then we got ourselves the potion and the recycling. Are they recycling Jigglypuff? I've always been wondering if that was the case. They were just getting rid of her. It was like how you release them in the game, but you don't actually release them back into the wild. You just kind of. Then we get right back into it, we got the Resistance Gym. Let me tell you about the Resistance Gym. I'm popping this out, I'm popping, I'm locking, I'm dropping here. We got the Resistance Gym. This card stays in play after being played. Discard this card if another Stadium card comes into play. So it's essentially like you just keep the card forever. Doesn't matter what's going on, defies logic, defies the card rules, you just keep it forever. Unless, the stipulation is unless there's another Stadium card. So just make sure you count, make sure you uh, count your opponent's deck and make sure they don't have one of those. Get ourselves the sleep, rocket sleep machine, super rod, vermilion city, the boss, wonder who that is, could be anyone, probably Ash Ketchum. Oh, we got ourselves a time capsule, time capsule. Looking back in time. There we go. Got ourselves a time capsule. Essentially, this card should just say that if you uh, lose a battle, you can go back in time and rebattle the per same person so you can win. Get your money back. Alright, last page, guys. Last page. Here we go. We're popping, we're locking. Here we go. It's going to get exciting. We got ourselves a transparent wall. Look at that wheezing. You can't even see him. We got ourselves a Tota Dial. Working our way down, we got ourselves a potion, Japanese Remoraid, a little bit of scuff mark, and then a fight. Japanese Octillery, he's probably fighting each other. We should have flipped these cards around, it would have made more sense. And then last but not least, here we go. Oh, Crobat. My boy Crobat is hanging out up in the top corner, last page, kind of building the suspense. Let's take a look at this guy here. Oh, look at those sparkles, look at those sparkles. Honestly, this card looks like it might be the most flawless out of every card so far that I've looked at today. Look at that, I mean, a little tiny bit towards the uh, top corner and the bottom corner. Uh, but honestly, that one definitely deserves, definitely deserves a sleeve. That is a worthwhile one right there. And then, oh, oh my god, oh my god, what happened to this Feraligator? This guy looks like he got into a fight with every other Feraligator. Let me just take a look at this. Oh my god, oh my god. 
what happened here? So, my boy for alligator and my boy Totodile must have been hanging out, stuck together for a little while, because yikes. Yikes, that is the worst, one of the worst things to happen, especially if you have a worthwhile card like on this. Oh my god, it looks like you literally went through the washer and back. Ugh. I feel like you can never find cards like this. Like for alligators, I feel like I'm always, no matter what, for alligators and typhlosions, especially from the Neo sets, I feel like no matter what, I'm always bound to find them in either really rough shape like this, or in a, like Japanese, like or in a different language altogether. I have stumbled upon, I don't know, we'll say two or three for sure in my lifetime, and they've always had something going on where they, they just weren't in that great of shape, or they just weren't not in English. But whatever, we'll slap you in a sleeve just to keep you protected so you're not completely, completely whittled away by the next time we pull you out. But yeah guys, so that is everything. Honestly, we'll do like a quick little uh, shuffle here. But we ended up with a good amount of cards. Pretty worthwhile, I'd say, for sure, for the $10. We'll just do a quick look at these. So again, first edition Cloyster. We got ourselves a beat up for alligator, our time capsule. Got ourselves a crowbat, resistance gym, Misty, Misty's doppelganger, Mary, my girl Mary, imposter, Professor Oak's invention. My boy Blaine's, I didn't even slap you in a thing. Let me get you slapped in something quick. Can't let you out with the other dirty cards. They have to, keep, you gotta keep you protected. In case the rain gets in. The rain gets in and gets you wet. First edition Bayleaf. We got ourselves a Magby. The Victory Bell. First edition Sabrina's Abra. First edition Squirtle. First edition Poliwag. Misty's Poliwag. Don't forget Misty. Got the Elekid. Put these up here. Right there. Elekid. Dark Amistar. Dark Blastoise. Dark Weezing. Scyther. Dark Slowbro. Dark Alakazam. First edition Ariados. We got our my boy Jump Puff. He is jumping around in the woods. Snorlax. Machamp. Kangaskhan. Gengar. Dark Dawn Fan. Again, like my starter pack right there. And also the arcade game. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I definitely think it was worth $10. Let me know what you think, though. And yeah, honestly, I'm very, pretty much just very pleased to know that I ended up with such a, just stumbling upon such a good collection of cards there. Guys, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think was your favorite card. What was one of the more surprising cards that I ended up pulling out of this binder? Just let me know your thoughts. And again, if you guys liked the video, like it, subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day, guys.